Defense Secretary Hegel watched as the flag-draped coffins of four U.S. service members killed in Afghanistan arrived home at Dover Air Force Base. The families of those service members didn't get the usual financial help to attend. Pentagon lawyers ruled the $100,000 death benefit wasn't covered by a bill to pay service members during the government shutdown. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for the shameful act of the administration's lawyers. Outraged House members unanimously passed a bill to fix the problem. How dare we not provide these grieving families with the necessary support in their time of need? Meanwhile, the head of the Veterans Administration warned that if the shutdown lasts until the end of the month, Millions of veterans and their family members won't get their benefits. The 1 November, I uh, will not be able to pay uh, all these uh, beneficiaries who are expecting uh, those checks. Senate Democrats rallied on the steps of the Capitol, reiterating they're willing to sit down and talk with House Republicans. All in the government, pay our bills. We are happy to negotiate on anything. On the other side of the Capitol, the Speaker was again demanding changes to the health care law and noted the rocky first week for signing up for it. How can we tax people for not buying a product from a website that doesn't work? With the shutdown in its ninth day and a possible default looming, neither side outwardly is ready to compromise. But there have been signals both may be willing to agree to a short-term solution as the President prepares for another round of talks with members of Congress. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, Capitol Hill.